I was super excited because today in the mail I finally got my Pat McGrath Labs Lust 04 lip kit. That's a really unique name. It's kind of hard to say. <laughs> so I've included a little tutorial which is more like me just kind of playing around and talking as I do it but we can call it tutorial. So if you want to skip ahead to the tutorial click fast forward <laughs> fast forward to this number right here if not just keep watching and let's get started super excited about my package from sephora today i was literally checking the app all day long to see if it was at my house and i kept waiting waiting and finally at like 7 p.m it finally showed up I wasn't going to get these because at first I was like, well, it's 150 bucks. I don't know if I really want to spend the money on that. That's a lot of money. And then I was like, Psh. like five minutes later, I was like, who am I kidding? Of course I want them. <laughs> Major FOMO. That's a lot of glitter. So this is the flesh glitter. So it come in the flesh kit with the two nude lip liners and the lip gloss. This is the glitter that would come in that kit. This is the gold pigment and it kind of got it looked like it was like slightly open in the box so that's why you can see some of like the pigment on the lid so this is the glitter from the venom kit it totally reminds me of the ruby red slippers from wizard of oz oh this is beautiful this is the blood kit i think it's called it's kind of a weird name but this is the blood one so it's a little bit deeper so this is the flesh kit first this one is flesh too so you see it's kind of like a pinky mobby nude color so this must be flush one and it's much more of like a nude. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but it's more of a brown, whereas the other one was more of a taupe. All right, so this is flush one. So you can see just one little swatch. It goes a long ways. It's a lot of pigment. I barely even touched it. And this one is flush two. So you can see the two colors, they're great nude. So this is Venom 1. This is the one that everyone's been talking about, saying it's more of a blue-red color. This is beautiful, this is Venom 2. So I'm gonna swatch the Venom 1 next to the Flesh 1. These are really creamy. You can see on the liner, it looks like I haven't even made a dent in it, and it's super creamy. I'm swatching these ones side by side so you can see how comparable they are. But these are definitely more like fall, taupey maroons, which are super in right now. These are the Venom. So this is Venom 1, and it's definitely more of a warm tone to red. And this is Blood 2. So definitely the twos and the kits are darker. You can tell that one's really dark. And this is the swatch for Blood 2. So you can see these ones are different. They're very similar in pairings. Like I feel like all the ones are very similar and all the twos are very similar. So I feel like it's a really good price point for what you're getting and plus all the hype around it too. I can see why they're super creamy and they just glide on so easily. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the uh, makeup tutorial for it. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow because I haven't done my eyes. I've done everything else. I look really weird right now because I look so pale. And then I'm gonna pick one of these and try it on. I already spent my eyes with setting powder, so you can see I do have some powder on there right now just to prevent it from creasing because I put some liquid down. And I'm taking this more nude shade here, it's kind of natural. I'm taking it on a MAC 217 brush. I'm going in on my eye here, I'm going to use this as my base color. Alright, I'm taking a MAC 221 brush, it's kind of like the 217, it's a little bit thinner. I'm going to pick this color right here, again, just to kind of use that as a transition color. Just taking this in the outer C again, just really going to focus that on the crease and then once there's less product in your brush that's when you kind of want to like smoke it out like a little bit go a little bit further outside that original point because my eyes are kind of a weird shape I want to really have this look deep up here to add some more dimensions I kind of like slightly have hooded eyelids because you can see that little crease like right there see how it creases so I have to really over dramatize my crease I start off by putting the pigment right here and then when there's less pigment on my brush, that's when I kind of start to blend it outwards. I'm gonna take this color here. It's like a chalky white color. You can see this chalky white color here. It's not sparkly like this one, but it's more of a matte color. Let me press that in the front pot spot so you can see it's making it pop. But then once I have a lot of pigment, just to kind of blend it a little bit, I'm just gonna go in lightly with that 217 brush. But that way it gives a little bit more kind of like an ombre, but a little bit more definition. So that's it for the eyes. I'm keeping them fairly simple. They look kind of dark, but you can see the whole face, it evens out, and it's really more of like a nude 
a nice nude color. Um, it's really simple. I'm going to pop on some false lashes and some mascara. And that's it for the eyes. I want to keep them super simple again because I want this lip look to pop. So as you guys can see, this is why I love these lashes. They're not like super over the top lashes. I feel like they're my kind of quote unquote natural lashes just because they kind of like volumize my already lashes I have but it doesn't like look over the top. So I was just going to use one lip color, but of course I decided to create ombre lip because why not? Um, I have this many lipsticks, I probably should just use them all. <laughs> so I started off with flesh too. As you can see, I started off first with the lip pencil and then I go in with a tiny little lip brush just to smooth it out. It's very creamy and it applies really, really well. Even the shape fits your lips well, so it's not like you're trying to do a lot of work with that little brush. And I really like this color, but I wanted to add a little bit more contrast and contour and a little bit more depth. So that's when I go in with the Venom 2, just in the outer corners. And then I start to um, pat that down first with the pencil. And then again, I go in and blend it in with the lip brush. So then I actually go in with Flesh 1 since that one was a little bit lighter. I just lightly press that down in the middle of my lips just to add that color. And then I will again blend with my lip brush. So I'm taking the Flesh color glitter. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's sticking really, really well. Because this is more of an ombre, I'm concentrating the majority of this pigment right in the middle of my lips. I love the way it catches the light. I think it's so beautiful. Especially this color blends in so well with the flesh color. So, so far I'm loving it even farther beyond what I thought I would. All right, so now that I've found the glitter, I'm also gonna try the gloss too, because I've heard it looks even better with a gloss on. There's another option for it. You can add the gloss. Um, I feel like the gloss took off a lot of the glitter when I patted it on, but it still adds another three-dimensional effect. I'm not super crazy about the gloss only because I feel like it makes it look like any sort of like gloss with glitter in it, if that makes sense. Like I was really excited about the glitter with the lipstick. That was a really cool effect, but I'm not sure if I like the gloss on top. I'm gonna try the pigment by itself and see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like now with both the pigment a little bit on. Again, I was trying to keep the ombre look with the pigment on and with the lip gloss. I really liked it what it looked like before because it already looked glossy. I feel like it added a really cool, a really cool depth to it. I'm not sure if I like it with the gloss and the pigment on top because it, it just, to me, it looks like any sort of other lip gloss you can get because I know there's a lot of lip glosses that come with sparkles already. So... Yeah, I'm not sure I feel about this. I really liked it before, but I'm not sure if I would wear it with the pigment and the gloss. I think I'd have to play around a little bit more <laughs> before I did a tutorial with that. But it still looks great, but I really liked how I had it before. So I would recommend trying it with the lipstick by itself is beautiful or with a little bit of the glitter on top. I still want to try it with like tons of glitter, just like straight glitter like they have in pictures. I think that'd be really cool. But for now, I'm gonna play around with it and just see what kind of combinations I can do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was really informative and I hope it was a good tutorial slash get ready with me slash opening packaging thing. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I have some more videos also on my channel and I'll be filming some more too. I have some ideas coming up for Halloween. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.